Hola familia, mi nombre es Roberto, and today we're gonna make some parts. I gotta make a fixture, or a jig, or a fixture? Maybe it's a fixture or a jig, but I'm gonna do some more work for uh, that uh, piston cutting tool. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, to start off, no, I don't speak Spanish, uh, at least of like, I'm not fluent. I, uh, I grew up in Southern California and uh, I mean, you, you kind of pick it up out there and I worked in the trades for a while so it was pretty helpful there. But mostly it was helpful for ordering good food when you were deep in the city and English wasn't the primary language. But uh, I miss my Spanish family, I miss my friends out there, I miss, uh, I miss having that culture. I live up in Alabama now and we still got some Spanish folks floating around, uh, around here but uh, it's a lot different. Anyways, let's get over to the project. So. I went today to uh, metal supermarkets down in Birmingham, and if you've never been to a metal supermarket store, they're pretty rad. Um, my store will let you like kind of dig through the remnants and the stuff that's on the shelf, and they give you a discounted rate for that stuff rather than like saying, "Hey, I need a foot of like 60, 61, whatever, blah blah blah." You just dig through the remnants, and if they have stuff you need, you can score cheaply that way. So I just take my Homer bucket in there and go to work. <laughs> so here's the stuff I got. Um, I'm going to build a fixture to hold this piston at a certain angle. Now, if you remember, if you watched that last video, I had it set up in all this. Look at that. That is ridiculous, right? And I had uh, some machinist uh, screw jacks and just all kinds of things going on to get that geometry right so I could set that piston. What I'm going to do now is I... Uh, I kind of alluded to it in my last video, but there was a fellow online that showed me his fixture, and I'm basically going to copy it. It is so simple, um, and it's going to be uh, way more effective in holding that piston, and it's going to be like super repeatable. So I'm going to build that now. Um, follow along, if you will. Okay, first step, we're going to go over to the, can you see it tucked back there in amongst my bullshit? Um, the bandsaw and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off so this is some aluminum tubing that i picked up it is like one inch 120 wall and what i did oh, other than scratch the heck out of it right there <laughs> what i did was i turned this od out here to um so it like fits into the piston or into where like the, the uh, wrist pin goes in the piston anyways i'm going to cut it off i made a mark right there i'm going to cut it off and that's going to be like the main holding portion for the piston. Let me cut it off and then I'll, I'll put it on the piston. We'll explain some more. By the way, this thing, probably the most used tool in the shop, this bandsaw. Okay, so here is, here's the, can you see me? Woo! Here's the main idea, is this uh, pin, or it was tube, is going to go through the wrist pin area of the piston and then on the bottom of the piston it has these flat areas and we're going to use this to locate and I'm going to use this piece of aluminum and it's going to sit on there just like that and then I'm going to drill a hole here, drill a hole here and then tap holes underneath it in the block and that's how I'm going to secure this and then what I'm going to do is just this big plate will just sit right in the machine vise and then it won't move, it's so much easier. But what about the angle you ask? And hey Rob, what about that angle? I'm glad you asked. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that 20 degree angle or whatever it is, I gotta measure it, I'm not sure, I think it's around 20 degrees, but I'm gonna cut that in the top of here. So when it sits here and this bolts down, it will sit, or this way, it'll sit at whatever that angle is. And then boom, all the math's done. All the hard stuff's done. No setting up, no bullshit, no slipping. Just boop, put it in the vise. That's it, just cut the material. How easy is that? Uh, I was super duper struggle busting it before and that fixture moved around a lot. This way it's not gonna move. It's great, it's a wonderful idea. Check it out. Okay, so I swapped the tool out. Uh, previous, I just had a big, like half inch end mill in there, and 
was working, but it, it wasn't optimal. So I put a fly cutter in there, and the fly cutter is cool because it cuts on both ends. So there's only one cutting tool here, but it'll come here and it'll cut on the front end, and then swing around and cut on the back end. And the overall cut is like, I don't know, three inches on this one. So it's getting, it's getting a whole lot more material removed at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to go back and forth and just work the quill down until I get the whole face of it, you know, cut off at that 15 degree angle. So uh, I, won't, uh, I won't bore you to death, death with that, but I'll put it on pause and um, come back to it. You like my goggles? <laughs> Okay, so I got most of it done. Uh, everything's finished up on the mill. Uh, the plate that stands it up, I showed you in that last uh, clip. That plate was a little bit too tall, so I had to cut it here, look. I had to cut about an inch and a half off of it and uh, so to, like, to bring it down closer towards the table. Um, fun fact, that's the longest cut I've ever taken on this, uh, on this bandsaw, and it's, it's pretty straight. I'm pretty impressed with it. So anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about. I had to lower that plate down because, if you come over here and take a look, when the piston sits up here, so I made it so it's gonna clamp in this machine vise, and when the piston sits up here, it was like, the piston was way up here. And this head's all the way up right now, and the table doesn't go down, it's just the head goes up. So I had to cut some length off my boring bar here, and that's as far as that'll go up in there. So if it doesn't fit here, I'm gonna have to rethink things. But I think it will. I think it'll work. Let's, uh, we'll pull it off of the bandsaw here in a second and then we'll get it over there and see if it works. Well, I guess I called it. Uh, nothing a little measuring wouldn't have told me, but uh, I'll just bounce this off the ceiling there. Um, but uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, there's not enough room. Check this out. So, uh, yeah, obviously the, the boring head's gonna hit that. Um, this is as low as I can get this with it on the vise. In my brain, I wanted it on the vise because it would just be easy. Now, if I had a bridge port or a knee mill where I could drop the table down, that would be the best. I don't have that. You know, I've got this little guy, and uh, you got to work within the parameters given. So, I believe what my next option is going to be is I have this plate over here, and what I will do is I'll take this fixture and I will TIG weld it to that plate. And with that, I'll be able to then just clamp this down to the table, and that should get me, you know, that should get me plenty low. Actually, let me set it there and, and make sure. <laughs> let me take a look here, hang on. Okay, it looks like height-wise that's gonna, that's gonna work out. So I'll probably need to face that, make it flat. Bottom side's pretty flat. Um, and then the tool, you know, it, it gets in there good enough. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, so that is not, uh, it's not a, a huge deal, but it's, uh, this whole process has been like this. It's, uh, it's been kind of, um, one step forward, two steps back, but that's car building, you know, to be honest with you is you get, you get moving and you get in the right direction. Things change. Some things work, some things don't and you just gotta continue to adjust fire as you get uh, towards the finish line. That's it for me tonight though. Uh, we'll pick up this video tomorrow. I am swamped and uh, I'm ready for bed. It's been a long day. We'll pick it up tomorrow. All right guys, it's the next day. We're gonna get this going today. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get this plate welded up and get this fixture finished. And then I'll show you how it works. Um, I wanted to like face that off, but I've got no good way to grab it. So I'm gonna weld the fixture to it first and then I'll just grab the fixture in the vise. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So uh, let's set up the welder and uh, do some TIG welding. New problem, um, I don't know what alloy this aluminum is, but it does not like to be welded. It just blew holes in everything. So, um, 
it's a mystery aluminum. I found a big chunk of it at the scrapyard. So I think like the 7 series, like 770 stuff, 7000 series aluminum, I don't think it's weldable. And that might be what this is, I don't know. But uh, I can't weld it. <laughs> it's, uh, this thing's kind of kicking my butt. Uh, I think what I might try and do is, check this out. I think seems to be wide enough. I might cut slots in here and like run a run it down so it's slotted in there. And then uh maybe I can run a T-nut up it or a clamp, a toe clamp on it or something. I'll figure some way to anchor it down to the to the bench here or to the table. Okay, just off the mill here, I've got the bottom faced uh, parallel with the top now. So if I had a clean surface here, let me see if I can semi clean. Anyways, so now the bottom is flat, and since I referenced this top edge, it's parallel with the top. Okay, so if that's good, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean the table off and uh, maybe slide the vise over and figure out how I'm going to anchor that down to the table, mock up one of the pistons, and see if it all works. Okay guys, that's another one in the books here. Uh, I got that fixture made. I just put the piston back together. Let me show you real quick. Um, it worked good. <laughs> there it is. Big hole in it. Uh, well, not a hole yet anyways. <laughs> but uh, um, it's all together. I'm super pumped that it's working out. This motor is probably going to age me three or four years just by the time I get it all together. But it's coming together and I'm excited to get this car going and I'm excited uh, to continue making these videos. Uh, I've said it before, but these videos kind of keep me motivated to, to stay on track, especially when people engage and like ask questions and stuff. So please hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this process. Let me know what you think about the car. Uh, I think I haven't done a video just about this car, like telling the story of the car and what the car is and all that stuff. So I think I'm probably going to do that. I might do that. It's a pretty interesting story. At least, uh, what is that? Like a cat's been climbing up the side of it. It's an interesting story to me. The car means a lot. It's sentimental. And I'll, I'll go into that. Um, in the next video. But for now, thanks again, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, it keeps me motivated. Appreciate you guys. See you soon. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. You like my sweatshirt? Look at that. Just had it made. Pretty cool, huh?